Hey guys, this is Patty at Bluefish Aquarium in Granville, Michigan. Today we're going to go over setting up a CO2 tank for your planted aquarium. Uh, we're going to start from the top. Uh, we always recommend using some plumbing tape on your uh, CO2 tank. Um, super easy to put on. You're just going to grab yourself some tape, wrap it against the threading on your tank. Um, next we're going to hop over to our regulator. We do recommend the Toonsy brand. We've had a lot of success with these at the store here. Um, what you're going to do is take your airline tubing. Now this is the tubing that will go into your aquarium with the diffuser attached. You're going to put the tubing through the nut. This nut would normally come on the regulator. You're going to take that off, attach it, you're going to screw it on, making sure you've got a nice sealed connection. Okay, then you're gonna take your regulator, you're gonna attach it to your tank, line it up, and take your time doing this, it takes a second. You wanna make sure that you've got steady firm pressure and that this goes on um, nice and easily and tightly. give it a couple of good extra turns since this is a pressurized system. All right, so we've got our regulator mounted to our CO2 tank. You're gonna wanna make sure that before you put this on, this is going to be opened up all the way. Now this front pressure valve is opposite of normal uh, valves in the US here. After this is on, you're going to open up your CO2 tank valve. And this is where we're gonna jump over to one that's already been in use in the store here. Now in here, you're going to open up the valve. You're gonna see your gauge jump up. If it's a full CO2 tank, depending on temperature, you're normally gonna see this pointing right around 50 bar and that'll tell you how much um, CO2 tank is in your tank itself. Once you've got that on, you're going to um, turn this valve in the opposite direction to allow tank or CO2 to go from your tank to the aquarium. Once that's opened up, you're going to use the valve that's on the bottom, this fine tune needle valve, to control the CO2 going into your aquarium. We do recommend attaching a bubble counter. If you look up above the tank here, this bubble counter is going to show you approximately how fast or slow the CO2 bubble is going into your aquarium. If it's a brand new tank, I would probably start around one bubble every two seconds. For a tank that's been set up, your goal would probably be somewhere between one and three bubbles per second, depending on how much CO2 your plants are acquiring. This is where we have our CO2 um, display plant tank. This is a pretty steady drip and this is pretty normal. Um, if you follow this up. All right, so here's the side of our aquarium view. You can see we've got the diffuser on the left hand side connected to the airline tubing that goes down to the CO2 tank. And get there in angle, you'll be able to see the bubbles coming out and this equates to about one bubble per second with our particular diffuser in our aquarium. Now you always want to make sure that your diffuser inside the tank is by your return valve for your filter. You want to make sure that that is uh, by the return valve so that it can get dispersed into your aquarium in the most efficient way possible. And that's going to wrap up how to set up your CO2 tank for your planted aquarium. Thanks so much, guys.